allowed. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Round number one. With Frank Jr. is in the black and red trunks. Josh Boy Hagen is in the white trunks. Myron Godet is the referee. Boy Hagen known for that in and out style. He uses that, that lead jab so effectively. He jabs, gets in, gets out, just like that. Two and minute counter punchers are slipped by right. I've already got one tweet tonight about my phrasing, so I don't know if in and out is the right phrase to use, but I'm gonna go with it. I get a lot of tweets about when I say tries to get off with the right hand. It's a legitimate <laughs> term. Wow, I uh, never thought of it that way, but yes. Right, try to get off with the left hand. Body shot by Quay Hagen. It's always like cheating to me. Yes, it is Bellator after dark. <laughs> Quay Hagen usually plays the outside. He's the one circling, he's the one darting. Now, this time, taking the center of the cage. 5'11", both guys tall for 155 pounds. Left hand by Quay Hagen. And you can really see, true to what they said, they're both trying to out-counter strike the other. It's true, wait for the other one to initiate. Quay Hagen really loading that right hand. Side kick by Quay Hagen. Good body kick off the lead left hook by Josh Quay Hagen. This is with the left. See right Jr. trying to pump the jab. This is with a low kick. Way Hagen very fast with those unorthodox strikes. He's good at making fights about his quickness and his elusiveness. That's the key word, Jimmy. He's very elusive. Side kick right on the kneecap. His MMA debut against Cosmo Alexander, an accomplished Muay Thai striker. He made it about his you know, ability to not get hit. He, as soon as I said that, he gets hit. I think I'm bad luck. It's the commentator's jinx. Those are my mom's dying words. Cosmo Alexander so frustrated against Josh Quayhagen <laughs> saying he just wouldn't stand there. That was, <laughs> heard that a lot. Josh Quayhagen's great footwork. Very hard to corral him. We see here the strategy of right is to counter strike, not necessarily to to corral his foot movement or close the ring off, but let him come in and try and answer back. See Wright sitting back, looking to counter, staying active with his hands, but not throwing. Looks like kick. There's Side a, kick by right to answer. There's a fine line between playing the counter striking game, letting your opponent come in, and getting picked apart. You know, you, you gotta, you can't wait on the outside. Oh! Nicky he caught him off balance there. Right back to his feet. Quay Hagen, admittedly a stand up fighter, primarily did not bounce. Wanted yes. nothing of that. There's a kick to the car. Neutral corner, neutral corner, neutral corner. Yeah, Referee Myron Gode has not yet called time. Accidental, accidental. Saying it's accidental. Accidental, right? Yeah. Make sure you talk Both fighters to the neutral corner. Sometimes they shift over. They only have to squeeze out. All right? Time wasn't called. Ready? Wright says that he's ready to continue. Here we go. Kick by Quay Hagen. Quay Hagen has almost a karate style. Very fast with his feet. Doesn't turn his hips over necessarily like a Muay Thai fighter would, but very fast. There's a low quit and low kick lands by Quay Hagen. The kick did not get through. Caught by right, looking to dive in, and he does. 
straight into side control. That slam yeah, takes her right over the guard. Nicely done by Cliff Wright Jr. And a short, sharp elbow from the top. Only 20 seconds left. Does he have time to use this position? It's great to be in side control, but you don't want to be rushed. Oh, now into full mount, but only 10 seconds left. Full mount at Chief Wagen trying to get out the back door, and he does. Right looking for up kicks. Side kicks by Gray Hagen. Jimmy and I are both very active on Twitter. We do answer back. You see our Twitter handles. I'm at Sean Wheelock. And my broadcast partner and great friend is at Jimmy Smith MMA. Tweet us now, and we will get back to you. Not right away. Give us at least a day. We're kind of busy. There, there. Relax, baby. Relax. I don't want to be that guy who misses a knockout because I'm busy tweeting. He doesn't like getting hit. Our Spanish commentator, back on the ground, Manny Rodriguez, he's missed entire now. fights because he's been <laughs> tweeting. He's not even looking. He's too busy tweeting. There you see Jay Bryce and Mercedes Terrell. They're both active on Twitter they as well. They can Twitter all night. They're just sitting there. That was hurtful. They're, they're so popular, and they work for, you know, one second each round. That was hurtful. You're saying they don't have much to do, they just sit there? And they have 20,000 followers. <laughs> That's what you get for being hot. Jimmy, how did you score round one? 10-9, Josh Quayhagen. More effective, more accurate. Leg kicks are always a good idea against a very active opponent who's light on his feet. Take his legs away from him. I like Josh Quayhagen a lot as a fighter, but I think he took a time machine back to 1977 in the boxing gym to find those trunks. Yeah, that's awesome. I see a lot, a lot of vintage. satin anymore in MMA. Vintage. I like to call him vintage, Sean. Vintage shorts. Dropping body kick. In the Midwest, that's a fashion state. You should know that, Sean. Speaking of hurtful. <laughs> some of us are from LA, some of us are from Shawnee Kansas. Some of us are from Shawnee Kansas. You see Wright trying to play the waiting game. To his word, he's trying to counter strike the counter strike. The problem is he's having trouble with the speed of Quay Hagen. You see there, he lands a body shot and gets out too fast with the right to capitalize on it. Right acknowledge the body shot. Oh, oh God, God. Man. One thing that Quay Hagen hasn't shown us is big finishing power. He tends to hunt and peck and land shots. He can be accurate and fast. But that was a clean right hand, and Wright is still very much on his feet. Quay Hagen trying to open things up now. Has his hometown, Lake Charles, Louisiana crowd fully behind him. Wright is not giving Quay Hagen a reason to back up. Over the top, missed by Wright on the head kick. The right ties up. Right to the body lock for Quay Hagen. Driving through is Josh Quay Hagen. Right looking to turn. I just fainted with that kick. See Quay Hagen initiating to the body first before the head. It's not a sequence often seen in MMA. Uh, body shots can be very dangerous. They take your hands away from your head. Quay Hagen is relying on his speed to be able to get in, land the body shot, and then transition off that. Oscar De La Hoya in his prime was known for that. Two to the body, two to the head. Clubbing overhand right by Quay Hagen. Body kick didn't get through. I still love boxing.
Ray Hagen now trying to walk his man down. Wright still looking to counter, and he does there with a nice left hand. Oh, ate that jab right in the eye. Left right back by Quay Hagen, a very effective jab. Now Wright pulling his way in, but straight into the guillotine of Quay Hagen. It's an arm in guillotine. He's either gonna, if he doesn't jump guard, it's gonna be hard to finish. Unless you have a lot of experience, which Quay, Quay Hagen doesn't have. Now going inside the arm. Much better chance here. Ray Hagen trying to lock up the standing guillotine. Looking to slam his way out as Cliff Wright, and he does. Once again, he finds himself in good position without a lot of time left in the clock. Ray Hagen still holding on to the guillotine, but right into side control. Final minute of round two. Guillotine does not work once your opponent is in side control. You are hanging on to the head for no reason, but it does set you up for some submissions. Ask J.J. Ambrose and Brent Weedman. The Von Flute choke only works if you're grabbing onto your opponent's head. I was just thinking the Von Flute choke here. I wonder if Cliff Wright is. I think he's driving in the shoulder. I think he's going for the Von Flute. Hey, if Wright was going for it, He's not going for it now. It's such a sneaky choke with the shoulder pressure into the karate. Good knee from Wright. Ten seconds, gentlemen. Ten Wright seconds. trying to do something from side control. Quay Hagen trying to explode back to his feet. Wright trying to hold top position. Here comes round three. 